On Monday night, a firework mishap at the Viral Kavu Temple Festival in Anjuttam Balam, Kasargod injured 154 people, including children and women. At least eight victims are critical. Several others have been admitted to the hospital across Kasargod, Kannur, and Mangalore. The tragedy unfolded around 11:30 p.m. during the Kulichi Totem ritual at the Muvalkozi Chamundi Teyam, marking the start of the Teyam season. Eight years after the Putingal Temple tragedy, why hasn't Kerala put preventive step in place? What is this obsession with large-scale firework? Kasurgo Temple mishap? Was it a man-made tragedy? News 9 Plus decodes. Let us first understand how the mishap took place. The accident happened when the sparks from a lit fire or cracker ignited additional fireworks stored only three feet away from the ignition area. This is a blatant violation of safety regulation that mandate a 100-meter gap at least. The explosion destroyed a temporary tin shed storage. Witnesses report chaotic scenes as the crowd scrambled for safety amid flames and thick smoke. Which norm did the festival organizer flout? The firework display lacked official permission and the organizers failed to show safety protocols. The district administration has taken two temple officials into custody and launched a thorough investigation. Forensics team have collected samples from the site for analysis. The temple authorities did not have the prior permission to burst crackers, but they continue to burst the firecracker. Were the lessons from the 2016 Putingal Temple tragedy ignored? The Kasagod incident brought back painful memories of the Putingal firework accident in Kollam eight years ago in which 109 people lost their lives and over 280 were injured. Despite stricter guidelines by the Petroleum and Explosive Safety Organizations, or PSU, evolved after that tragedy, such incidents continue to do disregard for safety protocols and lax implementation. So what is the way forward to prevent future infernos? Strict enforcement of guidelines. Authorities must ensure that events involving fireworks adhere to the PSO safety standards. Organizers must ensure and secure licenses and permission well in advance. Second one, remote control ignition system. Moving towards a remote firing mechanism for fireworks would significantly reduce risk by eliminating direct human involvement in ignition. The third one, increased awareness and penalties. Public awareness campaign about fire safety, stronger legal action against negligence are essential. Fourth one, enhanced monitoring. Local authorities should conduct routine checks and deploy safety teams during such large public gatherings. So what is the lesson we have learned from this tragedy? The tragic incident in Kasargod is a sobering reminder of how reckless handling of fireworks can have devastating consequences. With Diwali just around the corner, it is crucial to recognize that fire-related accidents, burns and eye injuries tend to spike during the festive seasons across India. Many people, including children, suffer life-changing injuries such as burns or even blindness from mishandled firework. Kerala, despite past tragedies like the 2016 Putingal Temple fire in Kollam, continues to witness a lack of safety compliances. This underscores the urgent need for stronger enforcement and a better safety practice at public events. Festivals should be a time of celebration and not mourning and communities, organizers and authorities alike must act responsibly to ensure safety. Only by learning from these incidents can we prevent further loss of life and make festival truly joyous.